Good morning. Check out these new little house slippers I got. Ooh. So you can wear them like not as house slippers, but you can also wear them as house slippers. It's a look. Um, okay, so I've had a super lazy morning. Wow, I, this is this is not a good look. Um, <laughs> so super lazy morning. It's literally like 11. So if you wake up at like 9.30 and you wait till like 12 for like that fasting thing on accident, like does it still count as fasting? Um, today, Dill and I, we're going to go to the grocery store. I don't even know if I'll like put this vlog together because it might just be like a boring day, but... I've literally been a psycho and gotten so many beauty things since I've been in quarantine. This is Dill's bathroom. Like, this is not even my bathroom in LA. This is like his. And yeah, sorry, I've taken it over. So I actually read somewhere 70% of people or something go through people's medicine cabinets. If you're a guest at somebody's house, you go through somebody's medicine cabinet. I've never done that before, but if you're one of those people, Maybe this brings you some type of like satisfaction. I don't know. Just, oops. I just got this. It smells heavenly. And I wish you could smell it through the screen. But you can't, so. Let's just do a little morning refresher. Why not? Okay, let's start with these lips. Um, I'm gonna use this Clarins. It's a uh, lip oil. I know it's blue. But it, I guess it adjusts to your like pH. I'm gonna go in with the this serum. I'm almost out. I guess I'm prepping my skin to go to the grocery store. I'm use some of the Sonia Dakar um, eye energizing stuff. Why not? Let's go in with some vitamin C, get our little vitamin dosage of the day. So, okay, that's my morning skin, so. <laughs> okay, I decided to change just because I feel like a wee bit more, I don't know, productive whenever I'm like feeling more put together. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna do a little TikTok for my makeup. Here's my station. Here's Dylan brushing his teeth. <laughs> okay. Fun fact, he's like super into brushing his teeth, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I, that is like my... Your teeth are like one of the first things people notice about you. You have nice teeth. He's never had braces either. So annoying. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna film a little TikTok. We got it ready to go. And hopefully, um, it like does. Okay, I don't know. Are you hungry? I I feel like if I go to the grocery store, we're gonna want to buy everything. In the middle of my blush. Thank you. I love this kind of toast. Are you gonna leave it like that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, just did a little TikTok, doing these like hyped uh makeup trends on there if you guys want me to do like an in-depth one and like my review on some of the like tiktok products that are trending out there then let me know in the comments oh you know what did you order what we don't have room for any more boxes <laughs> wait i actually have no clue what that is oh i have no clue what i ordered from target that would be this big it's like i actually literally can't remember <laughs> Okay, it's this entire giant box just for these gummies. No, I'm just kidding. There's, uh, I also ordered like a little lamp for this room in here. But I love focus gummies. I sometimes have a hard time like focusing and I'm a little jumbled. And I swear if I take some of these, I feel like really on it. Not a, This is not an ad. It's like literally just kind of like what I like. And I would actually take these a lot um, during Paradise. Because I was so tired. I would take these and my interviews were like so funny. But then they like never uh, got aired. So maybe they don't work as well as I thought. 
By the way, I don't know if you guys saw this room. We gave it a little makeover since last time. It was just like a white room with my suitcase in it. So put a cute little rug in here, a little futon couch, um, a mirror. And I got a basic lamp because I love natural lighting during the day and this room has great natural lighting. Um, but at night I hate turning on like overhead lights for some reason. So I'm gonna have a little lamp in here and it won't be so harsh. I get so excited when I get like a package from Revolve. They have really fun stuff. Revolve Beauty, oh, oh shoot. I've never been like gifted a bunch of Revolve Beauty stuff. No mustache. That's so fun. Are you guys interested in like what I'm getting in here? I don't know. Fur oil for pubic hair. Nice. Also, these things have such fun names. Like I love anything that's called like milky or creamy. This is called pink cactus pudding. Are you kidding me? That's so satisfying. I kind of just want to put my finger through. Nope, can't do it. We're an adult now, but very cute. Smells nice, excited to try it out. Um, if you guys want like a review on any of this beauty stuff, let me know. Officially decided it'd be a little weird to bring my camera into the grocery store. Um, we have our gloves and we're just gonna go grocery shopping. It is so nice out. It's actually kind of hot. This is the I hottest love, day I ever. I love it, it's amazing. We're, I'm gonna tan, I'm gonna get sunburned and I love it. We're gonna try to get this grocery store trip over with because last time we came, it ended up being kind of long. So we're gonna try to like focus in here. Okay, so we just got back, washed our hands. I'm gonna put up some groceries and we're gonna make lunch because it's literally like almost three o'clock. Oops. I thought we would do a little snack before I cook because we're literally like so hungry. But don't knock it till you try it. But Kettle cooked jalapeno chips dipped in hummus. It's life changing. Bill's never had it. It's actually dangerous for me because I like it so much. Does it slap or does it not slap? Eight out of ten. Eight? That's good though. I like it. I'm a ten out of ten. I would say my professional taste buds, taste test, whatever. I think the spiciness of the jalapeno chip really balances out the calmness and complexity of the hummus. Okay, so I just made a little wrap and had to answer some emails and do some like random work kind of things. And tonight we are going to make zucchini bread. Everybody and their brother and mother and sister are making banana bread. And obviously I couldn't follow the trend, hello. It sounds kind of gross, but it's actually really good. It's almost like the carrot cake kind of vibe where you're grossed out at it, but then it's like yummy and sweet. So zucchini bread it is tonight. Okay, let's do an interview with you. Mm -hmm. How has been? How has quarantining been with me? Um, it's been pretty fun. We fight every single day. How can I improve as a quarantine buddy? I think we should wake up before nine thirty every day. Okay. What would I change about you? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, <laughs> I wish you played Call of Duty so that we always only needed one instead of me needing like two or three if I just like want to play in the middle of the day or something. Two or three of what? Like teammates. I wish you didn't like Xbox. Well, sorry. <laughs> Do y'all ever like lay on the floor? I, I think it's more like basking in the sun. If I see a good rug with a little sunshine on it, I'll lay my butt right on it and just bask in that sun. Can I try this um, new facial pudding on your face? Yeah. Oh, Oops, so God. sorry. Sorry. Yeah, wait, this is like ASMR or something. I can live without it. 
It literally is like pudding. What happened? Nothing. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Is it in my hair? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sorry. We're having difficulties building this. It's the dumbest, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Bob the f***ing Builder is the only person who can build this. <laughs> we need to hire Bob the Builder. Dill, you seriously can't build a lamp? I'm just kidding. It's the dumbest thing I've ever I'm seen in my kidding. life. I think you can do it. Yay. Oh, my mom just texted me and said have some water with me. Um, we have these little glasses at home. They just have little, like, circles on them. And she, like, loves drinking water out of them. And she mailed me one. So I'm gonna drink water with her. It's like, I love those little at-home, like, just random objects. Like, there's random coffee cups she'll send me out here. It's like those little tiny things from home that you always think of, like, different kind of blankets and stuff. And this is mine, so cheers, B. B is my mom's name, by the way. Cheers, mom. So I made a dance on TikTok two days ago. And I was like, everybody duet me on it, which is, if you're not familiar in the TikTok world, it's like duetting means they'll like do it next to your dance, I guess, if you can see that. But I asked people to mention me in their like little duets and stuff and so many people did it which is so crazy and I'm trying to literally go through all of these I don't know if you can tell I'm trying to go through literally all of them and um, comment on everybody's and I don't want to just comment like a heart emoji I'm trying to be I think more in general just trying to be a little bit more intentional with like my responses I don't know so that's what I've been doing is I've just been like replying to everyone and seeing everybody's dances, they're all like so cute. Today's not like a Saturday where it's like a free day. I'm trying to get things done. Even though I'm just vlogging, it's still like a part of my day where I'm like, oh, I need to take my camera out or whatever. Um, but you guys said you were kind of interested in more of this like stuff that I do. So I know a lot of you guys mentioned an in-depth video. And if you do want an in-depth video of actual questions you want me to answer about kind of the work I do or the work that I used to do, then please type them below and I'll just save all of them and I'll sit down and answer them one day. But I guess for vlogs, I'll try to like just pepper it in there a little bit. I just have like a little list every day of things I gotta do. I try to plan out my day to where I can do like a little bit of TikTok, a little bit of YouTube, whether that's editing, jotting down some ideas that I can do for YouTube or just simply vlogging. Then there's the Instagram stuff and Instagram stories, which I'm like, how can one person, I'm, and trust me, I'm not complaining. I love my job so much, but it's like, geez, how can one person be in 80 different places at once on all these social media platforms? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it all out. And I think I'm trying to find the balance with Dylan, and I was saying this to him earlier, I'm working on the balance of being in the moment and enjoying the things that we're doing while also sometimes needing to get, you know, a YouTube for it or some Instagram stories. Like I hate the idea of just pulling out my phone all the time. Um, and he's very cool with it and everything, but I'm trying to find the happy medium of letting everybody into my life while also having my, like, my moments and stuff for me. So yeah, there's my little TED talk. And I think we're about to make zucchini bread. Oh, are we actually making zucchini bread? Yeah. Yay. Story time. When I was a uh, freshman in college, we thought it would be really funny to like get a ton of Instagram followers. So what we did was we followed and unfollowed people like, like aggressively, like really aggressively. We got up to like 5,000. And then just you get up to five thousand, and then you just unfollow everyone. So wow. then, <laughs> so then you like only that's called thirst, so right? Then you're only, so then you're only following your friends, and then you still have like five thousand or whatever. I, I don't know. I thought it was hilarious, but to this day, I still get people who have finally accepted my follower request from like 
literally seven years ago. That's amazing. And someone just accepted it today who's posted 10,000 times on Instagram and their link in the bio is just Comcast. Nice. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, Anyways. um, okay, so. Cooking away. Making dinner, okay. When was the last time you baked anything? I don't bake, I guess the one thing I don't do. I don't bake either, so. We, we gonna learn today. Zucchini bread, do we have zucchini? Yes. No, I feel like cucumber has little seeds in it. Me? No, yeah, that's totally a zucchini. We may be making cucumber bread. So it says, was the dry, then mix the wet, and then combine all of them together. And it says a loaf pan, but we don't have a loaf pan, so it's gonna look like a birthday cake. And a few of you people were hating on my spices on my video, but we're at Dill's new place, so I don't have all my spices yet. So give me a break with the Trader Joe's, everything, sees, everything but the seasoning situation. I'm like, we're working towards it. Yeah, the egg is coming in, people. The egg is in. Oh, yeah! Smells good, kids. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot did vanilla. We even, Where's we, the vanilla? Did we even get vanilla? Wait, Dill, please tell me we got vanilla. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so dumb. I don't think we got vanilla. Shoot, does your cousin have vanilla? I have vanilla creamer, look. We have French vanilla cream. No, we're creamer. not half-assing this. Making a FaceTime audio call to Samantha. Hello? Do you have vanilla? Like, extract? Yes. Not happy about this. I mean, at least it's a like one minute drive. Oh, but I'm getting them. Why don't you go get the vanilla abstract inside? Because I need to be beautiful. Did you get it? No contact delivery, baby. Oh my god, we didn't even need vanilla. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's two tablespoons. So, uh, we're gonna. Put this in the oven, cooked in, and stay tuned. Yay! She is stunning. Also, these are kind of big pieces of like lemon zest, or I mean orange zest. I only had this tool to do it, but I ended up being like, screw it. This smells citrusy and good, so I like poked a hole in it and did a little drizzle of like orange uh, juice, I guess, uh, on it. So let's see how it is. Oh, Google off. Nice. Okay, Google. Okay, uh. It's definitely healthy zucchini bread. <laughs> uh oh. Well, no, I think it's pretty have, good. It doesn't have sugar, but it's good. It's very moist. I give us a seven. I'd go with an eight. I think if I had a little bit of ice cream with it. Ice cream would be good. Ice cream would be good. Honestly, if you add a little butter to it. Mmm. Butter would also be good. Well, with that being said, I'm gonna finish this bread. We'll definitely make it again. I will link the recipe if you wanna try it. Yeah, please like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos or let me know what type of content you wanna see. I know I say that every time, but every time I read Joel's comments and I kinda try to go off of that. Oh, what you got? I love you. So there's that. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.